Whitetail hunters spend all year round preparing for one moment, waiting for hours in silence for the opportunity when a buck might walk down the trail. And it always comes down to a couple seconds or a couple inches that makes the difference between getting the opportunity to make a great shot or that animal running away. How a deer perceives the world through its sense of vision is completely different than how we see the world. What is the most important thing for a deer to do, and that's to detect a potential predator, or to be able to navigate through a very complex environment, sometimes at a rapid rate. The next chapter of Optifade was solving for the needs of the eastern whitetail or turkey hunter. In a really dark, dense, heavily vegetated environment with a thick canopy and a dark forest floor. So we brought together leading researchers at the University of Georgia, the innovation team at Gore, and our internal SICA product team to guide the development of the Optifade cover pattern and built it specifically based on how animals see in distinct environments. There's really two variables at play there, the shape of the pattern and the color selection. So we're really trying to break up the human form and to disrupt the shape of the hunter. And two is to mask movement. I'm an avid deer hunter, but I'm also an avid student of deer. Well, I've been studying whitetails formally at a university setting for about 45 years now. One thing I've always been fascinated with was understanding their visual acuity and how they perceive the world. Deer have two photo pigments. They're dichromatic. They see the world in hues of blues and yellowish to greens. And what we found out is they see blues in the neighborhood of 20 times as well as we do. So it really brought into question some of the camel patterns that were in existing because many of these camel patterns reflect a lot of blue light. So all that is doing is enhancing the deer's ability to see that camouflage, not negating its ability. When we did the field testing, we took some of these camel patterns, put them up in a tree stand, took the spectral radiance of those camel patterns and also of the surrounding cover above, below and to either side. And our goal was to find the minimal amount of offset between the, the camouflage pattern and the surrounding cover. And all throughout the study, there was one pattern that kept coming out on top, cover. One of the other aspects that we looked at was understanding how fast deer could process information. So we used a test called a flicker fusion test, flashing flickers of light faster and faster and faster until you're no longer able to see those flashes and it becomes a constant color. And it turns out that the deer's ability to see it is at least four times as fast as we see. So if you match the spectral signature of the pattern with the spectral reflectance of the surrounding cover, it eliminates the outline of the hunter in the stand. What drives us at Sitka is to build product that allows hunters to be fully immersed in the pursuit. And we put it through the paces in both the field and the lab and are confident that Optifade cover is gonna set a new standard in concealment.